Good morning, class. Before we are going to start our lesson for today, let's have first a prayer. Everybody is requested to stand. Let us put ourselves in the holy presence of God. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Before you sit down, kindly arrange your chairs in accordingly. Okay? Thank you. Please be seated. Once again, good morning, class. I am Teacher Zen, or Miss Zen, your teacher in music. At this moment, who is absent today? Very good. Perfect attendance. At this moment, I will present to you our classroom rules. Please be guided with these gentle class rules. So there are eight classroom rules. Remember, eight rules. First one is always follow health protocols. Second, listen carefully. Do not talk when someone is talking. Three, respect everyone. Four, raise your hand if you want to answer. Five, avoid making unnecessary noise. Six, participate in all group activities. Seven, follow directions. And the last one, the eight, is enjoy when learning. Are all these rules clear as crystals? Very good. I hope that you will follow all these class rules during our meeting. Okay? Today, we will learn the diversity and evolution of contemporary Philippine music. Are you excited, class? Me too. Let's have fun another field experience in music. So what was our previous quarter topic class? Yes, Miss Martinez? Yes. Okay, very good. So what you have learned from that? Mr. Garcia. Okay. Oh, there's another to answer. Yes? Very good class. So do you have any doubts, queries with regards to our previous quarter topic? Okay, very good. Before we proceed to our lesson proper, let's have a motivation activity. Our first activity is, we call this, guess the title and sing it. So the procedures and the directions are the class will be divided into two groups. They have to identify the title of the given lyrics and sing with it. 30 seconds will be given to answer all the guest lyrics. No, each group will submit a one-fourth sheet of paper with their names. Is that clear, class? Are you all excited? Okay, let's start in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, go. So what do you think is the first lyric? Yes, group 1. Very good. The first lyrics or the first title song is Kay Ganda ng Ating Musika. We will play that song. Let's proceed to number two. What do you think? Yes, group one again. Yes, Pilipinas Kung Mahal. Very good. The last one, number three. Yes, group two. Very good. Exactly. Kumo kuti kutita. Okay. So, what do you think is our lesson for today? Yes. Okay. So, our topic for today is about contemporary Philippine music and the selected traditional composers. Before we proceed to our proper discussion, let me read to you the lesson objectives. Within the given period, you are supposed or you are expected to distinguish the features of traditional and contemporary Philippine music and by the selected Philippine composer. Second one, you have to perform selections of contemporary Philippine music from the different Filipino composers. And last one is appreciate the importance of contemporary Philippine music through singing and listening by our very own Filipino composers. Let's have an another activity. This is a group. So this activity is called Guess Me. You have to identify the following composers in the picture. Write your answers in the cardboard provided. The class will be given 30 seconds to answer with the same groups. Is that clear? Okay, 
Do you have any clarifications or queries? If none, your time starts now. Time is up. Thank you so much students for your participation. So who are those people? Yes, Julie. Very good. What is your contribution to our country? Yes. Yes, very good. And they are known of what? Very good. Filipino composers. Hello class again. I welcome you all to our proper discussion. And our topic for today is 20th century traditional Filipino composers. They are only five composers we will discuss for today. Let's have first Francisco Santiago. He is considered as the father of Kundiman. He finished his music specialization at the American Conservatory of Music in Chicago, where he obtained his doctorate degree in 1924. Among his famous works are the following, Pakiusap, Madaling Araw, Sakaliman, and the very and well-known Pilipinas Kung Mahal, Hibig ng Pilipinas, Ano Kaya Ang Kapalaran, and Kun Diman, or Anak Dalita. So, there are seven famous works by Francisco Santiago. This piece was sung before the Royal Court of Spain upon the request of King Alfonso II. He was also a musical director for films. Among the films under his musical supervision were Kondiman, Lero Lero Sinta, Madaling Araw, Manilenia, and the movie inspired by his very own composition, Pakiusa. He became the first Filipino director of the UP Conservatory of Music. Let's proceed to the second one. Nicanor Abilardo. Nicanor Abilardo, he studied music at the Chicago Music College and was influenced by the musical styles of the Sterilist or Second Venice School and Post Romantic European composers. Abilardo, together with Francisco Santiago, elevated the status of the Condiman into an art song, status equivalent to that of the German light, the French chanson, and the Italian aria. His best known compositions include the following Mutian ng Pasig, Nasaang Kairo, Bituing Marikit, Ikaurin, Kundiman ng Luha, Pahimakas, Kundiman, Pahiwatik, Kabatina for violin and piano, First Nocturne for piano, and Magbalik Kahira. So there are 11 famous works of Nicanor Abilardo. Let's proceed to our third Filipino composer. We have Antonio Molina. He is the first national artist for music. He began his music career as an orchestral soloist at the Manila Grand Opera House. He served as dean of the Centro Escolar University Conservatory of Music from 1948 to 1970. He was also a faculty member of the University of the Philippines Conservatory, now College of Music. Molina was also a product of both the Romantic and Impressionist schools of thought. He was fascinated by the dynamics and harmonies of Debussy, but retain much of the romantic style in his melody. Characteristically, Impressionist work is his piano work, Malikmata, or in English word, Transfiguration. The mysteriously exotic chords of this piece gradually lead to our lyrical melody with a traditional harmonies abruptly returning to the initial mode. So we have already discussed the uh, um, three Filipinos. Continue. Molina wrote several compositions for piano, violin, and voice, as well as a Spanish style opera form known as the Zarzuela. He is best, best known for his poignantly romantic serenade for piano and violin, Hating Gabi. Subsequent transcriptions of this piece was, were written for the cello, flute, piano, and guitar. Other works by Molina include orchestra music, which the Mesa Antonian Grand Festival Mass, Ang Bali, uh, Batingao, Kundiman, Kundugan. The second one is chamber music. They are the string quartet, Kung Sa Iyong Gunita, 
pandanguhan, and the last one is vocal music. So in the vocal music, there are Amihan, Awit ni Maria Clara, and Larawan itong Pilipinas. He received the National Artist for Music Award in 1973. He passed away on January 29, 1980. So, like what I said, there we have already tackled three Filipino composers. First one is Francisco, very good, Francisco Santiago. The second, Nicanora Bilardo. And the third one is Antonio Molina. Let's proceed to the fourth Filipino composer. We have Lucio San Pedro. He was born on February 11, 1930 in Angono Rizal. Since his elementary days, he started composer. So during um so bata pa siya, he started composing composing nagad. So he studied the banho which inspired him to become a serious musician. He later pursued his Music degree at the University of the Philippines and at the Juilliard School in New York, USA. He became a professor of theory and composition at the University of the Philippines College of Music up until his retirement in 1973. Tanpredo is known as a romantic nationalist. He incorporated Philippine folk elements in his composition with Western forms and harmony. So... Arguably, his most Philippine, his most popular work is the Well Love sa Ugoy ng Duyan, a lullaby melody song by his mother. He composed sa Ugoy ng Duyan together with his friends Levi Celerio as the lyrist. His musical prowess was internationally recognized when he was invited to be a judge at the prestigious Van Cleburne International Piano Competition in 1980. He was declared National Artist for Music in 1991 and passed away on March 31, 2002. So before we proceed to our last Filipino composer, if you are familiar with the Ugui, sa Ugui ng Duyan, let's sing together. Sana'y di magmaliw ang dati kung araw ng munti pang bata sa piling ni nanay. Nais kong maulit ang awit ni nang mahal ang Awit ng pag-ibig habang ako'y nasa duyan. Sana'y di magmaliw ang dati kong araw. Nang munti pang bata sa piling ni nanay. Nais kong maulit ang Awit ni ng mahal, awit ng pag-ibig habang ako'y nasa duyan. So, if you're familiar with this song, usually, you hear this from usually some of uh, Filipino horror. But the, sa ugoy ng duyan, <clears throat> yung cardboard ko Usually, um, you hear this song in the Filipino horror, but the meaning of the sa ugoy ng duyan is a mother is nagpapatulog ng kanyang anak. So let's proceed to our Filipino composer. We have Cipriano Ryan Kayabyab. Ryan Kayabyab, also known as Mr. C. He is a popular contemporary composer who also, who also has classical compositions to his credit, such as Mesa and Tausan, for poems for soprano and piano, and Tidum. His compositional style makes much use of a variety of influences from Moroccan musical cultures, jazz, African-American spirituals, and gospel music, European neoclassicism, music for films, American Broadway musicalists, 
musicals to Philippine indigenous chants. Among his numerous composition award, award winning Kay Ganda ng Ating Musika, Paraiso, as well as the modern Zarzuela, Alika Book, and the musical Lorenzo. Based of uh, the, the Lorenzo, the musical Lorenzo is based on the life of St. Louis in 2013, the opera Scolarium with libretto by Fides Cuyugan, Asensio, and a variety of choral pieces and song of cycles were also among his masterpiece. Mr. C also produced several recordings, including the memorable album One and subsequently One Christmas and One More, all of which were one man vocal jazz. Uh, Capella album that he himself arranged and sung. He was born on May 4, 1954 in Manila. He obtained his Bachelor of Music degree at the University of the Philippines, the same College of Music in 1983, after which he became a faculty member for composition at the same university. He also serve as the executive and artistic director of the San Miguel Foundation for the Performing Arts, which oversaw the operations and programming of the San Miguel Philharmonic Orchestra and the San Miguel Master Chorale. At present, he continues to be a South after professor or lecturer, musical director, composer, arranger, and a conductor in the Philippine concert in recording and recording scenes. He was named as a National Artist for Music in 2018. So we are done discussing the five Filipino composers. And let's recall who are those. Francisco Santiago, Nicanor Abilardo, Antonio Molina, Lucio San Pedro, and the last one is Cipriano Ryan Cayabyab, or also known as Ryan Cayabyab. With the European American influences brought by our colonizers, it was inevitable that the musical style of 20th century Western composers found their way into Philippine compositions. So let's have a summary for, for today's lesson. So Francisco Santiago is considered as the father of Kondiman. Very good. Next is Nicanor Bilardo, contributing and innovating the Kondiman as an art song form. Next, Antonio Molina came to be known as the father of Philippine Impressionist music. We have Lucio San Pedro. He is known for Romantic Nationalist. He incorporated Philippine folk elements in his compositions with Western forms and harmony. He, of course, have a rich expressive tonality as represented in his well-loved Sa Ugoy Nanduyan or Sa, Ugu, Sa Ugoy Nanduyan, a lullaby melody song by his mother and last one last but not the least ryan kayabyab spans both popular and classical worlds with his popular ballads musical plays operas ballet zarzuela orchestral and choral compositions so we are then with our within our proper discussion i want you to prepare for our next activity everything is clear any queries regarding of our lesson class? Very good. So let's have an another activity. Let's have an activity. So this activity will help me to identify if you are listening well to my discussion. So directions, you will sing one contemporary Philippine music that we had already earlier an activity. So the following choices are Kaganda ng ating musika, Pilipinas kung mahal, at Kumo Kuti Kutita. The class will be divided into five groups that consist of eight members or more. I will give 10 minutes to prepare and practice your piece. After that, you will be presented in front of everybody. So let's count. One, two, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, please proceed in your respective groups in silence. Don't waste your time. Facilitate everything. Time is up. Let's have group number one very good group number two wow impressive group number three magnificent group number four okay and last but not the least group number five 
incredible performance. So I am I am happy for I am happy for I am happy to all of your performance. Let's have an another activity and it will be our last activity for today. So this activity is to measure how far your understanding for, from our discussion earlier. So I prepared a printed sheets. So you have to read carefully all the questions and write all your answers in the answer sheets. Are we clear? Very good. So your time starts now. I will give you five minutes only to answer all the questions. Okay, time is up. Please hand me your papers. Very good. Before we end our discussion for today, let me leave you an assignment. So it's time to test your knowledge about traditional composers by presenting your talents. Choose one activity to perform from the list activities below. Next week will be presented your performance test based on your preferences. So the, the class will be divided in the same groups so of five groups. So yun lang yun. So here are the three choices. Singaling, choose one song from the compositions of our traditional composers. It should be sung with accompaniment. The second one is Sayawe. Choose a work by any of the Filipino composers and interpret the song through the dance or through a dance. Choose the most appropriate dance genre for your chosen music. And the last one is Tula and Mo. If you think you are not into singing or dancing, this option might be for you. Compose a poem with three to four stanzas that is all about traditional music. It should be in Filipino. Is that clear, class? Any clarifications or queries? Very good. I hope everything is clear and you learn a lot from our lesson for today. Okay, so before we leave this classroom, can we arrange all the chairs accordingly and accordingly and pick up some pieces of paper or garbage along your area then dispose it properly on our trash cans at the back okay that's all for today paalam sa lahat